Hello and welcome back to New York Gold. Today we're going to talk about these little fry. These are gold dust mollies. I got a whole bunch of them. We'll check them out up close. We'll feed them. And we got another surprise live berry in the fish room at the end of this thing. So hang on. I had two clutches of gold dust molly fry. So here is one. I don't know how many are in there. Call it 20-ish. Right next door is another one. Some are a little bigger than the other ones. I think in the other bin. They, uh, they were born about a week or so earlier. But that's that's them. Here are a couple born about, I don't know, let's say like a month ago or so. And these two guys are, I don't know, they're like always together. Oh, and now they're gone. There they are. They're doing good. And the adults in here, I don't know, can you see one hiding behind the heater? I don't know how many. Let's see if I can see this whole thing. They are they're hiding in there. Yeah. I don't know where they are, but they're hiding in there. They hate it. They absolutely hate that tank. I took the Molly adults out of this community tank and they loved it in here. But I got these chocolate Grammys and I don't know it seems like the uh, the mollies were just too busy for them they kept them you know they were just startled all the time they didn't really like all the activity that the mollies were doing so I moved the mollies out to their own tank and they hate it but hopefully these chocolates will uh, enjoy it in here not too much going on I found one. I want to say there's about there are about six adults in there. I don't know where the hell they're hiding, but they're probably behind that filter. And uh, it's a 20 gallon, like regular, not high or anything. And they they can't stand it. But I'm figuring when all the little guys, when these come of age and they're allowed out, then everyone else will come out after that. Uh, you know, it's the same temperature as all the other tanks. It's in the mid 70s. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. But uh, they're going to have to figure it out. Oh, there you go. Why do you hate it? So I think now I'm going to feed the boys and girls a little brino shrimp. Let me get my brine together and we'll do a little feeding. separated the uh, the brine shrimp from the water by turning the light on and they all went down and uh, I can leave that on I guess but here I just I ran this on the water just to get it wet this is a, a tea strainer and I just take whatever I feel like using run it through the strainer and sometimes I have to run my finger underneath to get all the water out. And that's it. That separates the water from the brine. That's all live brine now. So let me show you how I feed it. Yep, 
you can just take it and dip it in if you like. Get some brinos going in there. Or you can just take your finger, take a little bit, and put it in there. Beep. I don't know. Whatever you feel like that one. They're both easy. I don't know if you can see the brinos in there, but everybody's eating. Everybody's eating. Whatever's left over, I give to uh, everybody else. Gets a little bit helps stimulate breeding. Let me show you what else I got going on here. Well, I got you. These are black sword tails. And there should be four of them in there. There's two males, two females. There's the two females. And there's one of the males. And I have some fry. There's only four of these little guys. So I'm gonna feed these guys up too. I'm gonna do my brinos. We'll give them some dinner. Let them eat. Yikes. What happened here? What happened? How did we get to the sky? So I love these breeder boxes, they have the slits on the sides. And whatever brine shrimp escape, the adults eat them right there. And I like when the big females get all that extra protein. It helps with their uh, fry count. I'm expecting a lot more than four the next time. I wasn't expecting these babies, there was actually nothing in the tank. I just put them in there and next thing you know, I saw four little guys swimming around. So what's going on with this thing? So, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button there. All right, that's better. Tightening the wrong thing. I don't know how to drive a tripod. So anyhow, I gotta feed everybody, but here is black swords. I bought these only because, I don't know, I don't remember ever seen them before. I see all kinds of sword tails. I had, uh, you know, I think pineapple swords I did for a while. You see all kinds, but I don't ever remember seeing black sword tails. So, give them a shot. They got a little blue speckling. I like it. I like it. I hope, uh, you see this female's got a white belly. I don't like that. The other one's pretty good. So hopefully the fry come out all black. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. At least something to Something to breed for. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention. All right, that's enough for not paying attention. I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye. Real quick, this is how I do my brine shrimp. They're in there with the swords, and you can see I started this one Monday 6 a.m. Today's Tuesday. I started this one this morning, 6 in the morning, and I change the stickers every day. And this is how I keep them regulated with the temperature, because I'm in the basement. It gets kind of cool down here, so I need to keep them in there to, uh, you know, to, so they hatch on a nice regular basis for me, and I don't have to wait forever because it's too cold. But then I do. I just take it out and I walk it right over here and actually I put it in this fishbowl. I don't keep it in that shot glass. I just did that for mm, video purposes. Then I turn the light on and that's it. Boom. I walk around two or three minutes later they're all at the bottom. So that's my simple, cheap, uh, this is just a straight 
tube and it just goes as long as it goes to the bottom and it'll stay there if you do it any shorter than this it just doesn't seem to work out it has to stick up higher than the edge of the thing and then it'll stay here's another one and that's just hooked up to a couple of airlines and a pump I think it's actually running everything in this tank the filter and the pump so that's my quick brine shrimp setup bada bing bada boom